I'm tired of it guys. I am tired of being told all the lies, myths, and rumors, being told how weapon XP works, being told this is the fastest method, being told after round 20 XP drops off, being told outbreak is the fastest XP method. I just can't deal with it anymore. I'm constantly question, do ammo mods count towards XP? Does the map I play change the XP rate? Is going to round 30 or beyond a waste of my time? I don't know, and it seems nobody knows, but today I'm done with the lies. I'm going to find the truth on how this whole weapon XP thing works and what truly is fastest XP method. You guys are not already subscribed feel free to hit that subscribe button because i post zombies tips tricks and guys every single week and you do not want to miss it and you know you can follow me on twitter or join the discord links to those are in the description below so we will be breaking this video down into four separate phases phase one is going to be the myth busting section where we go through and we test five different myths about the xp and how these different things will affect your xp throughout the game phase two is the round xp we'll be going through and testing every single round all the way up to round 30 to see if we actually start losing xp the higher rounds we go and phase three will be the weapon xp we test the amount of weapon xp that is required to get to every level all the way up to level 54 to see if it scales up and how quickly does it scale up and phase four is what everybody's here for is the xp strategies where i'll be showing you the best of the best solo xp grinding strategies and most importantly group grinding xp strategies there's only one problem with all this. In order for me to test a lot of these theories, I need a lot of weapons around the same level, preferably level one. And uh, yeah. So I did the most sensible thing any desperate man in my situation would have done. I called upon my most reliable, trustworthy friends. I'm trying to make a video and I need, uh, well, okay, I'll just cut to the chase. Can I borrow your guys' uh, Call of Duty accounts? Like that. <laughs> Thank you. So now, since I have acquired three more accounts, it was time for phase one, myth busting. So first on our list is do ammo mods give weapon XP? And this is gonna be pretty basic. We're just gonna put the ammo mods on the weapons, go to a high round, shoot one bullet into the zombies and not kill any of them with the actual bullet, but see how many we can kill with the ammo mod and track the progression of the XP from there. And the first one we're gonna be testing is the most OP one out there and that is Shatter Blast. Now I shot one single bullet into the horde and didn't kill a single zombie with the weapon itself, but actually setting off the Shatter Blast, which completely wiped them all out. Now on screen, you can see my weapon XP I had on this weapon before I shot and after I shot. So it is safe to say you do get XP for this ammo mod. And next up was Deadwire. And just like before, we shot one, checked the XP and it does give you weapon XP. And next, we tested Napalm Burst, and just like the rest of them, of course, it gave us XP. Now, I'm not even going to test Cryo Freeze, because we all already know that does give you weapon XP, mainly because Cryo Freeze does not kill zombies, it just makes you do more damage to them. Y'all know we have one more ammo mod left, and that is Brain Rot. I tested it out just as the rest of them, and this one is the only one that does not give you weapon XP. So for this myth, we're going to say that's plausible because even though most of them do give you weapon XP, not all of them do. So next myth we have is all zombie rounds give the same XP. I've heard this once or twice, but I can understand where people believe this is because they claim that as you go to higher rounds, the higher rounds in zombies take longer to do. And that is what people insinuate is the XP drop off that we feel we get in the later rounds. But I want to test this out myself and go ahead and see, is this true? So I took a fresh level one weapon to round five, finished off the whole round and ended up getting a little over half a level. Next, I took another fresh level one weapon all the way to round 31 without getting a kill with it, finished off the whole round and I ended up getting over three quarters of the way to level two, a lot farther than where I did from level five on a fresh weapon. So do all zombie rounds give the same weapon XP? No, this myth is busted. Now the next myth is the amount of weapon XP you get from zombies at higher rounds drops. 
Now the last myth should have already explained this and sort of told us the answer, but you know what? I did the test anyways, L let me just show you what I got. So I went to round one with a level one weapon, fresh with no XP, killed the six zombies that spawn at round one. Then I went to round 21 with another fresh level one with no XP weapon and killed six of the zombies at that round. But you can see that with the ballistic knife at round one, killing six zombies, how much XP I got compared to the sledgehammer at round 21, killing six zombies, which is almost half the amount of XP. So at round 21, the zombies are giving you less than half of the original XP from round one. So this myth is 100% confirmed. Now for our last myth, it is different maps, weapons, and headshots versus body shots give different weapon XP. So I decided I'm gonna knock out all of these theories all in one go. So I loaded into a game of D Machine with the Swiss and got all headshots throughout level one. Next, I loaded into a completely separate game on Firebase C with the ballistic knives and got all body shots with them. I then compared the XP I got on each weapon from each round and they are the exact same. So it does not matter what weapon you use, what map you're on, or where you're shooting the zombies, you will get the same amount of XP. But this myth is 100% busted. But that is it for phase one. And that brings us now into phase two of round XP. But we're gonna get in here and we're gonna test to see if at round 20 or 30 or how quickly or how slowly the XP you get per round scales, whether it be at high rounds or at low rounds, I wanna figure out how much XP we're actually getting per round. So let's get to the bottom of this. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking level one weapons from the low rounds and all the way up to the high rounds and then we'll compare how much XP we are getting from each weapon at each round. Now after gathering all the XP rates I got from every single round, you guys might have noticed the same thing I did, and that is at round 10 I ended up getting more weapon XP than I did at round 21. Now granted, at round 21, I did accidentally grab a nuke with two zombies left, but even killing two zombies with a nuke should not have made that much of an impact on the XP. So I went back and reviewed the difference between round 10 and 21 to find out that I received four medals from killing zombies with the weapon. And after going back and doing some investigating and digging, I found out that you actually get more weapon XP if you receive medals from killing the zombies. So definitely keep that in mind when you're grinding for weapon XP. So after all that was said and done, I took all of the data I collected and I ended up graphing it so you guys could see a picture of that the weapon XP you get per round doesn't actually drop off. It actually does the opposite. It continues to go up even past round 31. But you guys will see later in this video how this data plays a huge part towards the end. But that wraps it up for phase two and brings us into phase three, weapon XP. If you guys have ever wondered why after level 20 on your weapon it seems impossible to get weapon XP, I'm going to show you why because this is actually a pretty cool thing that I figured out. But we're going to go in here, we're going to take different leveled weapons, all to level 5, figure out level 5 and see how much XP each weapon gets and how much XP is required to go to every weapon level. So we know from phase 2 that we took the carve at level 1 to round 5 and figured out that at round 5 we actually get 5.7 XP for a fully completed round, which means to go completely from level one to level two, you need 10 XP. And we're gonna take that logic with weapons at other levels to round five, since we know how much XP we're getting from round five, to figure out how much XP it actually takes to level that weapon up completely. Now, after I collected all the XP from every single weapon, you already know I had to graph it. That way we get a better representation to see 
how the XP from level 1 to level 21 barely changes, but after that it just completely skyrockets. And that is why after level 20, it almost feels impossible to get any more weapon XP because from level 20 to level 54, it almost goes up 4 times the amount. Now that we know how the round XP works, and we know how the weapon XP works, that brings us to the final phase, phase 4, XP strategies. All the countless days spent grinding and collecting all of this data leads up to this one moment to finally figure out once and for all, with cold hard facts, what is the fastest weapon XP strategy. So in order to test what strategy is the fastest, I first needed to play a game of the strategy and collect every single time it took me to complete each round and using the previous data that I have showing how much XP per round I'm getting to calculate how much XP per minute I get. So I loaded into the game and tested the most common strategy everybody does and that is the Colonel's Office on Firebase Z. But once I had all the times collected, I was then able to graph them. And as you can see, the time it took me to complete the rounds were a lot higher during the early rounds, but that's because I was having to run around and turn on the generators. And then all the spikes you can see after that are the assault waves. But I then took the times and I was able to find out how much XP per minute I was getting for each round. But as you can see, at round 10, I pretty much hit the peak of my XP per minute. That is because I spent the first 10 rounds trying to turn on all the generators and get Pack-a-Punch unlocked. And after that, I was able to get comfy in the Colonel's office and continue the strategy. And from there to round 31, it essentially stayed the same amount of XP per minute. You can see the dip around round 21, but that's only because my round XP drops. And that was because when I did the initial round XP test, I was receiving more medals at the earlier rounds, which gives you more weapon XP. But after studying this data, I got to thinking, what if there was a strategy where I could get faster zombie spawns earlier in the round and instead of pack a punching just run the default weapon until I pretty much die and then just rinse and repeat. So I did exactly that. So I loaded up a game of D Machine and went to the penthouse, which is the closest, fastest spawn room from the actual spawn on the map where I could receive the fastest zombie kills. The downfall of this strategy though is I can't go for an hour to two hours. This is only going to be like a 15 to 20 minute strategy, but I wanted to see is do I get faster XP right off the bat. So since we we're able to eliminate the need to turn on power and have to pack a punch, you can see the old XP I was getting from Firebase Z on the Colonel's Office strategy compared to the Penthouse strategy, which throughout this whole strategy, I was almost getting 25% more XP. But like I said, there is a downfall is this strategy is only good for about 20 minutes. So if that's all you've got to grind some weapon XP, this is definitely how I'd recommend it if you're doing it solo. Now, what if I told you guys there was a way you could do this with multiple people and get 60% more XP. Now I know a lot of you guys right now are thinking, oh yeah, Outbreak. Well, no, because in Outbreak you have to have four people. You have to, for one, that's hard enough trying to get four people in a lobby, let alone having the other three voluntarily stay in the lobby and not kill any zombies. That's almost impossible to do. That is a dead method. Instead, what if I told you everybody in your lobby gets 60% more weapon XP. Well, a lot of you might already know, but when you're playing with multiple people, if everybody puts a bullet in the same zombie before it dies, everybody gets the same amount of points from that zombie. But what a lot of people don't realize is everybody gets the same amount of weapon XP for that zombie kill also. And another thing is the more people you have in your lobby, the more zombies that spawn mid round. So y'all might know where I'm going with this is if everybody shoots not for the head but for the body, everybody will get the kill and get the weapon XP. And since you're getting more zombies, you're getting more kills and you're getting more weapon XP. But in one game, I was able to take my weapon from level 11 to all the way to 33 in an hour and 35 minutes. Now I went into solo games doing the Colonel Office strategy and I took a fresh level 11 weapon and took it all the way to 33 and that took me 2 hours and 38 minutes by myself. That is a 60% difference in XP. 
But if you guys decide to do this strategy with multiple people, I highly recommend not doing it in the colonel's office. And that's because I began to realize that at higher rounds, all the manglers and all the mimics jump through this window and it's going to start causing one to two of your people to have to constantly focus on this window and not get the kills they need. And since everybody is shooting in the body instead of the head, everybody will be burning through a lot more ammunition, which will cause a lot of people start running out of ammo in the middle of the rounds and have to go run down to the cache to buy more ammo. Instead, what you'll want to do is go to the room directly underneath the colonel's office and don't open that final door, but instead put a toxic growth in front of the window and then you can put two more right there directly in front of it as I placed it and none of the manglers or mimics will jump through this window. Every single boss zombie and every zombie will come directly in front of you and you guys won't even have to worry about looking at the window. Just in between each round, you can run to the room right next to it and buy ammo from the ammo cache and then just make sure you replenish the toxic growths that got depleted from the previous round. But nonetheless, I hope this video was useful and helpful for you guys. But huge thanks to ProDan10 for requesting me to make this video because without him, this video would never have been made. And if you guys have any recommendations on the next guide you want to see me make, feel free to drop that in the comments below and hit that like button on this video because that helps me out tremendously. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.